Hi, welcome to RR Guitar Community. My name is Raymond, and today we're gonna to check out a technique called the hammer-on. So this is a technique that's widely used in almost every single style and can be daunting for beginners if they don't know the right technique. So let's check it out and get those fingers hammering. So in this lesson, we kick off with the most basic form of a hammer-on by playing your top thick E string open and then hammering onto the fifth fret by quickly and forcefully slamming down your finger onto the string. Why don't you try a few hammer-ons with me? You need to try and get your hammer on just as loud as when you pick the string. If your hammer on doesn't come out nice and clear, let's try and run some TNT. The most important thing about playing a hammer on is the initial speed at which your finger hits the string. You then need to apply force immediately afterwards to keep the note sustained. If your speed at which you're hitting the string isn't enough, the note disappears sometimes or you can't hear it at all. Even if you're putting enough force in, Even if you play a hammer-on with the right amount of speed and not enough force, it will also come out unclear. Another important thing to take note of is using the tip of your finger and not the soft, fleshy side. When you use the soft, fleshy side, you sometimes end up eating unwanted strings. Lastly, when you hammer on, try not to hammer on onto the fret line itself. The note usually sounds a bit dull when you hammer onto the fret line. It is important to be able to hammer on with all four of your fingers as well as on different strings. P.S. At the start, everyone struggles hammering on, especially with their pinky and on the thin E string. A good exercise is to start with the hammer on using your index finger on the top E string and work downwards to the bottom thin E string, like this. By the way, you can do a hammer on on any type of guitar, not just the electric guitar. Let's practice this with a beat. Try to get your hammer on note the same length as your open string note. We get a lot of people playing the open note too short, like this. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Now let's try it with our middle finger or our second finger and one, two, three, four. Now moving to your third finger or your ring finger. Ready? One, two, three, four. And lastly, the same thing, but with your fourth finger or your pinky finger. One, two, three, four.
By the way, this is what a hammer-on looks like on the tab. You see here we have a slur between two notes and a H for hammer on above the slur. This means you pick the first note as normal and hammer on the second note at the end of the slur. For a bit of a challenge, let's try this little song that we wrote just for you. You should be able to read tabs by this point, so I'm not going to go into too much details about the strings and the frets, but what's important is to use finger 1 on fret 4, finger 2 on fret 5, finger 3 on fret 6, and finger 4 on fret 7. Play this twice on the top E string, moving downward one string at a time. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4! even more of a challenge, try this classical style hammer-on exercise. In terms of fingering, you want to use finger 1 on frets 4 and 5, finger 3 on fret 7, and finger 4 on fret 8. Like this. Once again, play it on each string twice, moving down one string at a time all the way to the bottom. Ready, and one, two, three, four. And that's all there is to the first level of the hammer-on technique. Remember, don't expect yourself to be able to play the last two exercises perfectly as they are designed to be challenging. It will take a few tries. But keep on practicing and you will acquire the mighty fingers of Thor. Thanks so much for watching our video. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. You can also ring that little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever we release a new video, which is at least once a week. Click over here to check out our next video. Click over here to visit our channel for videos of song tutorials, techniques, full courses, and gear reviews. We also goof around occasionally with some fun challenges. Click over here to visit our website. We have monthly competitions and giveaways. And in the near future, we'll have user profiles with unlockable achievements, full educational courses with skill trees, and personal skill verification with live feedback. Thanks for being part of our guitar community. See you next time.